Time give for Flint. Play Zelda. Start! Ow. I feel like the the tenth time you get through the army, the game should just be like, okay, you've established that you know how to play. You're good. You've passed the checkpoint. That's what I did with my editing. You're welcome. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Let's get to it. Ooh, let's equip a good bow. Often forget to do that. God damn it. Let's equip a good bow. And now he's teleporting, so I have to stay down here. God damn it. Um, I've discovered slightly new tech. Um, which is that when I'm done with my two-handed big boy sword, which I am as soon as I'm done with most of the book goblins, um, and then slash, when I pick up a sword that I don't want to have, and I know there's other weapons in the arena that I would rather have that I can go pick up in a second, um, I don't have to drop them. I can just throw them at the enemy, and not only does that, um, that gets sort of my sword problem, does a little bit of damage. If this is this strategy was so far exclusively deployed against Big Boy Goblin. Um, does some damage to him, and also um, saves some uh, durability for my one-handed sword. That is also nice to have against those Alphos, and a lot of times that'll break pretty much right away after one or two Lizalfos. Um and then I have to rely on my spear, which is good, but it means I can't have my shield and weapon out at the same time. Um, and now that now that one-handed sword lasts just a little bit longer against those Alphos, gives me a bit of more time to get my bearings. Um, so yeah, just throwing the crappy weapons at the enemy also knocks over a uh, big boss, even when it's a even when it's a, a pretty puny un unupgraded weapon. Um, throwing your sword directly at big boy will stun him and knock him over. So that's also a very nice added bonus. I'm probably going to fall right into him here, but that's fine. Oh no! I saved it! I don't know if I picked up every last arrow in the arena, but I think I did a pretty good job cleaning house. Um, so it should be fine on ammo. I probably already said this, but not only is that um, a fun thing to hum along to, um, something that I've been doing this for like Oh, this is so weird to think about. I've been doing this for the better part of a decade, I think. Um, God, that's that's terrible. That's a horrible thought that I just had, but it is true. Um, I don't think this is going to be fast enough. Unless that lets... Unless... No, okay. That's fine. Um, I was getting nervous about those spikes, so I wanted to play it safe. Um... Not only is it fun to hum along with that, it's also very good for audio syncing, because whenever I record on a console... When I record on a laptop, it's fine. Whenever I record on console, the timing of the video and the microphone recording don't record at the same... I don't know what the term would be, so I'm just going to say bitrate, even if that's not what the word I'm supposed to be using. Um, so there will actually be... By the end of, like, a three-hour recording... There's like a two minute difference in actual recording time, because one of them just records ever so slightly faster than the other. Um, so luckily I recently discovered, somewhat recently discovered, um, iMovie has a very quick, um, that yeah, I edit an iMovie, get over it. It came free with the fucking laptop. Um, um, there is a very handy tool on iMovie that 
fixes that easily. But I do have to find not only... I, I always have my sync test at the very beginning of recording. I have to also have one towards the end, and I almost always forget to do that. Um, so instead, if I can just... If, if I hum during Colgara, that is, a, that is a decent time, especially if it's late in the recording. That is a decent time to um, use as my sync test, because that is that is a point where I can for sure definitely say the mic and the game audio are at the same, uh, same point. Eh, too soon. Okay, that's good. I, I, I believe that would have killed me. That, that, that could have been real bad and dumb. On my part, not on the game's part. The game has made it abundantly clear. Stay away from the portals. Would it be cool if you could use the portals, though? Like, if you timed it just right, you could follow the monster through the portal? I'm asking for a lot, but it would be cool. You can't deny that. You're not allowed to deny that. I've decided. Sounded like a different noise than usual. Was that? Is that because he was trying to attack me? I know if I'm up in the air, he always tries to open the portal directly underneath me, which is another good reason to touch grass. Um, come on. Um, I just completely avoid that, like, that's, that does not even count in his attack, aside from don't fall into the portal, um, which I almost just did do a couple minutes ago, but, you know, in general. Ooh, that's closer than I thought it was. In fact, I don't even know if there's one directly beneath me, but I would prefer to go into cutscene mode here in case I was about to fall into a piece of ice. <laughs> God bless. Okay. Dun to dun. Very scary. Seventy, I'd like to keep with me for the future. I might, I might aim for eighty if I can. Although this does, if, if I want this to go by fast, I do have to kind of eat through my arrows a little bit. But if I don't want it to go by fast, it goes by really slowly. <laughs> The key is to just have more arrows, but unfortunately that's not the that's not the type of let's play I've played so far. That was weirdly close. I didn't like how close that was. Does he go for a drill attack? after the rock every single time. I barely noticed because I stun him out of that attack, but that is surprising to me, damn it. All right, let's, why don't we conserve our arrows at least a little bit. Ride it out from here. 
At least to phase two. for me to pick up somewhere down here. I uh, can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. That was a little messy, but we got there. Did I get that one? Awesome. Perfect. Oh, he's drilling? I don't like the drill, not because I'm scared of it, but because he walks towards me every single time. It gives me less room to work with, and I don't like that. I wish he wouldn't. gonna be out of its out of out of a uh, out of juice soon I feel like oh that was closer than I like I, I feel like he he makes an effort not to actually smush me just around me but that time I felt like he was coming for me at 80, but I changed my mind. Rock, I think will do it. Nice. Okay. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm just annoyed. Um, couple things. One, equip. Don't drop. Equip. Two, bathroom. Three, check recording and check that the laptop is charging and says that it's charging. Bingo bongo, both of those are working. Number four. <sighs> As always, when you're fighting Mukdarok, take a little drink of water. We are just about half an hour into this recording, which bodes well. I think it means we're doing, we're getting real good at the run up to this point. Which is good. Um, uh, let's go over strategies. Good to be aggressive, except for Splash. If I ever think a Splash is coming, keep my distance. Um, and I think he starts with Splash, so keep our distance here. Unless I can get in... I'll shoot a couple orbs at him, like, right this second, and then I'm going to get my distance. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is once I can... In Stage 2, something I thought about is once I can get him out of Shark form... He does that jumping around thing, and it's useless, unless I want to shoot arrows at him, and I don't really want to waste any arrows, it's useless to try and hit him in that point, because eventually he wears out, and that's the time to actually hit him. So, what I should be doing while he's jumping around is cleaning up the arena. That is something I had not thought about, but I have had time to think about now. So I'm going to remember that. 
Anyways, let's shoot a couple orbs at him and see what happens. Holy shit. Oh, and here's some arrows that I dropped. Oh, that's still a splash. I thought I, I thought I scared him out of doing a splash, but nope, he wanted to do another one. Awesome. Okay. Oh shit. God damn it. <sighs> to those of you saying, what a stupid move, why did you think you could outrun it? I wasn't trying to, out well, I was trying to outrun it, but the reason I didn't just take my shield out is because he was too far away to target, and last time I tried to just, I, what I should have done is run directly towards him, then take the shield out, because then at least Link would be pointed in the right damn direction. But, the reason I didn't do it is because he's too far away to target, and I tried to do that last time I fought Mukdarok, and Link just did not put his shield in the right direction, and I, I, it was, it looked even dumber because Link just stood there and took it, um, and there's nothing I could do about it. Because I don't know if you know this, but once your shield is out, God, what's, how am I even supposed to defend against that? Come on, man. Um. Once Link's shield is out, you can't change directions. So if you misangle it, it you're, you're fucked. And you can try to, you can just like hit the target thing again, sure. But if there's nothing in your range to target, Link will not change directions. And it takes him like a quarter seconds to get out of shield mode. So holding the direction I want to point and just tapping the shield button doesn't work because Link doesn't have time to adjust his positioning if I'm just holding that direction. Like, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you, because I know one of you doesn't believe me. I know one of you doesn't believe me. Let's say there's an attack coming from my left. I can aim the camera that way and try... No, not that. Try it again. I can try to run that way and take the shield out, but you, you like, that, okay, that's, actually, that's even worse. It's good to, it's good for my brain to know this, but that's even worse than I thought. I can start, well, if I, hold directly left, I can do that. But if I'm in the middle of running, and then I go left, well, sometimes apparently I hit the crouch button, so that sucks. If I suddenly go left, I it's, it goes diagonal. That wouldn't be enough to stop a laser. That would still hit me. Um, and let's say I get the shield out and I did it too soon. Oh, shoot. Go to the right. Oh, that was faster than I thought. It's, it's inconsistent. It is inconsistent if I just tap the shield button trying to get it to go the right direction. So, I guess best case scenario if I see him start to shoot the laser is run directly towards him and then get the shield out. If he's too far away to target, because I've kept my distance, because I'm worried he's going to do a splash, that's the best thing I can do. Which, I will not lie, is really annoying, but that's good to know. It's, it sucks that running so far away to be safe from the splash attack makes it so I can't target him if it is a laser. Because if I can target him, laser's easy. I, it, you know, if I let him do it too many times, then I have to worry about shield durability. But for the sake of this, I'm not, now that I know how to do actual damage to him, I'm not too worried about that. But if I'm too far away to target, i.e., I've run away from him because of his splash attack, which again kills me in one hit, even at my full health. Um, I'm toast. And it sucks! 
damn it. It is both heartening and disheartening that it takes 30 minutes every time. Because on the grand scheme of things, that is that is incredibly encouraging. Given that I've, in the past, it's taken me like an hour and 45 minutes just to get one try at Mukdarok, and it is no longer the case that that is the case. Encouraging. The fact that now it's going to be another 30 minutes just to, just to fight Mukdarok for all of 45 seconds. Upsetting. Could you guys not let Big Boy be the closest one to me? Thank you. Oh, you're closer and got up faster than I did. <sighs> sure. Sure, man. Yeah, because I didn't sprint. Because I didn't do any sprinting, so Link didn't know to put his spear away. I think it's going to be uh, more than 30 minutes before I get to uh, talk to Mokdorok again. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead and need to, need to do a 480 degree rotation before Link can, can hit one of the three horns. They're particularly scary, so Link doesn't want to hit them. That might make them angry and kill him. Sure. That's fun. That's a fun way to play the game. It's fun for that to happen. Sure. Yep. I can't, I, when that happens, I might as well just jump off of a cliff. When it's just the archers left and they decide it's time to go triple over time and, and shoot five arrows into Link at the same time. It's, I'm, I'm done. I, I, there's just no, there's no point in playing anymore. The fact that, that I, legitimately, how am I supposed to, to deal with that? The, the fact that I can't get, I can't, I don't have time to turn the camera towards one of the other archers before they just hit me with an arrow that one kill, one shot kills me. It's, it's, it's unheard of. It's unprecedented. It's an unprecedented time that I find myself in. Yeah. Yep. I can't... I fucking... You guys saw that the camera was pointed directly at the last guy, right? The fact that Link didn't shield towards him is... Insane. That's wild that Link just picked a random direction to shield in instead. Oh my god. That's insane. That's that is fully ridiculous. I I can't believe that. Sure. Like I know that's my fault, but Think about where I've been, and and just just confirm that you have some sympathy for me in this moment because I I need it. I need your energy. You specific viewer, I need your energy right now because I am losing it. God damn I. Link takes so fucking long to st look. I know from real life experience that if you're if you're running, it's hard to stop on a dime. But when your life depends on it, and you know your life depends on it, because you're actively standing on a tree that sucks your life force away from you, and you're one hit away from dying. You'd think there'd be a little bit of urgency to stepping away from the evil death tree. And you'd think that maybe if Link is truly operating 
with the adrenaline of I'm about to die and also the entire realm is depending on me, there might be a little pep in his step. Yeah, sure. I like how in some Let's Plays, if I were to edit out stuff, people would accuse me of, of, like, cheesing, of maybe getting rid of some of my more embarrassing moments from the Let's Play, being like, oh, I only died 40 or so times, I just had to edit out the rest for the sake of, you know, um, uh, le brevity. You know, it, it wouldn't be an enjoyable thing to watch if I if I left it in unedited, and that's the only reason I've edited stuff out. But with this one, you get you guys you guys know what you're looking at. You are looking at the only noteworthy moments of a regrettable idea. Hey, at least I get that uh, sick knight's broadsword bonus, which legitimately is actually I didn't link. 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 God damn it. Um. If I combine that with the, uh, big boy horn, that actually one shot some of the moblins, so that's actually really cool, and I can get that. Oh god. That's the first time I've actually seen an archer repositioning. I've I've known for a while they have to do that. I can't... It doesn't... I will sometimes come across them in positions that don't make sense. So clearly that's part of it. But I've never actually seen it before now. Now they're all camping. They're all grouped together like rubes. Sure. God. God, I hate the arm this army so much. I just I I can't communicate even if it took the same amount of total time, I can't communicate how No, that's not true. If I had to spend the this amount of time on uh, marble Goma, I'd I'd die. But I can't communicate just how much more fun I'd be having if I got to skip over the army once I once I beat it the first time. Even if it was like you have one heart left and most of your weapons aren't very good, I would still prefer that to having to do this every single goddamn time. Why was that guy so high up? Why did it look like one of them was super tall? Link, you uh, when you see there's a sword coming for your neck, you have to swing the sword at a moderate pace, at the least. Preferably fast, but moderate, at least. Please. It's embarrassing. You're embarrassing us, Link. Something that's really cool, and I don't know if it started in Smash 4 or Ultimate. I'm almost positive it wasn't in Brawl. Because it wasn't a... it wasn't... Well, it's not a big deal in Breath of the Wild, I don't think, either. Um, in the old, old time of Zelda games, if you're at full health, your sword gets a little projectile. And... Um, in the later Smash games, or at the very least in Ultimate, um, if Link... If you're playing as Link and he is undamaged, uh, you get a little projectile. It doesn't do much damage, but you, you do get a little projectile. I, I thought I, that was a really cool callback that it took me a little while to realize was true. Because I, when it, I remember when they... Don't you dare. Okay, we got up. Um, you know, they release all the behind-the-scenes stuff for each fighter, but it's like, I'm not going to look at the Link one. I know how Link works. But there was a surprise. 
A surprise cool thing that Link can do. Which, in this playthrough, I'd love to see more of. Just more surprises from Link. Good surprises. I've been surprised in a bad way by Link many a time in this playthrough. I wish I had less of that. <laughs> 